going to show you a really easy recipe for entertainment or for uh, having feeding your family some kind of nice dessert at home. Um, it is very simple. It is also a comfort dish, and it also lets you lo uh, use any leftover rice that you might have. Um, this rice is rice pudding. And what I'm going to do, basically, it's going to be like a custard with rice in it. So I have three eggs I've cracked in my bowl. Now I'm going to use the same bowl that I'm going to make it in. This bowl, particular bowl, I've had it for a long time. I used to have a lot more sizes of them, but I think they've broken through the years. But it is actually an oven safe bowl. Now you can make this in your regular mixing bowl and then just uh, you know, transfer it something to bake because it's going to bake a little while um, at 325. So I have turned my oven to 325. I'm beat, beat my eggs up and I have um, three cups of milk and this is a combination of some canned milk and a little milk I had in my fridge that I needed to use up. You can use whatever kind you want. It's still going to, the eggs are still going to make it creamy. Okay, next I'm going to mix some sugar. Now I, the recipe that I use calls for about a quarter cup of brown sugar, but I'm going to use this pure, which is organic stevia with a little erythritol in it. And I use this quite a bit when I'm baking. It uses, um, oh, it tastes a lot sweeter than you expect. I'm not gonna use quite the quarter cup because um, this stuff is pretty potent. So, um, I'm gonna mix that in there. Now the recipe, you, this particular recipe you can add raisins too, but Josiah Bevins is, my son, is not a big fan of raisins, so I don't mind. I'm putting some cinnamon there, about probably about a half a teaspoon. Um, I get a lot of my herbs at a Amish bulk grocery store, so that's why my cinnamon looks like that. Now my nutmeg, I have a new nutmeg to get out. Ooh, it's taking me forever with the... Um, but I'm just going to... Oh! Boy, that is going to be really nutmeggy. It's only supposed to be about a half teaspoon, but you just saw what I did right there. Anyway. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to add two cups of rice. Now, I had made a whole bunch of rice in my rice cooker for a dish I'm doing, and so I just made some extra. So I'm going to do two, cu two cups of cooked rice in my dish here, my, my little pot, my little bowl, and I'm just going to mix it around, make sure it's unclumped, especially if you use re leftover rice, you know, you need to kind of unclump it a little bit. It should be okay even if there are a few clumps in there. This is actually jasmine rice. Um, I bought a whole big bag of it at Aldi not too long ago, and so I'm using that up. You can also use brown rice as long as it's cooked any kind of rice in, in, in this. In fact, I generally do use brown rice as opposed to white rice, but I needed to use this jasmine rice up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it. I'm actually going to wipe it along the edges of this here so my cinnamon and my spices don't burn. And I'm going to wipe along the edges with a paper towel. And then I'm going to stick, stick this in the oven in a 425 degree oven. Um, I think for about 45 minutes is a, about how long it will take. And I will show it to you when it comes out in just a minute. So, funny story. I got this beauty out of the oven after it was finished cooking for the appropriate time. We ate supper, we had a little dessert, the muffin put it away in addition to the refrigerator and I completely forgot to take a video of it. So what I'm showing you here is a actually in a stock photo of some creamy white rice pudding with, I don't know, the pomegranate seeds, some kind of little uh, red berries of some sort, which is not my rice pudding, but you can still see that it makes an elegant and simple dessert that's good for 
all occasions for a easy Friday night dessert for the family, a comforting um, dessert on a Saturday afternoon, or even a special dessert for dessert, <laughs> a special dessert for guests. Um, we like having it with a whipped topping, a little cinnamon sprinkled on top, some berries, um, caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, any of those things. So try it out. Tell me how you like it and see you later.